Hello. Slouching is a posture which comes quite natural to most of us. It doesn't have anything to do in particular with the cello, but we'll see later on in this video how the cello might increase that natural tendency to slouch. So, but first, what is slouching? Slouching feels as if there's this big weight, big invisible weight, pressing down on you and making you sink through your lower back. And just try it, gently, try it and sink through your lower back. At one point you might feel that it starts hurting here. So that's already not good in general. We slouch when we sit at our desks, when we sit on our couches, even when we uh, sit at a table to eat, which is very bad for the digestive system. We even do it when we walk around in the streets or when we just stand up. Now enter the cello into this natural tendency to slouch. While not being very heavy, it still has some weight and it has some size. And I'm going to turn this around a bit. You will have this part of the cello leaning against your chest. And just this simple fact may encourage you to sink back like this. And while you do that, you're actually starting to slouch. The neck of the cello hovering over your shoulder will increase your tendency to push your head forward, especially, and I'm going to take my bow to demonstrate, especially if you're trying to have a look at what uh, your bow is doing. You will go like this. And just also give this a try. Gently overdo it a bit and you will probably feel that it starts hurting uh, at the point where your neck and shoulders connect. So that in itself is already very bad. In addition, when you slouch, you have the tendency to push your shoulders forward and lift your shoulders somewhat. And when you do that, what happens is that you decrease the natural weight of your arm. If we don't do it, and I'm going to try and demonstrate, if you don't do it, I'm sitting fairly straight, put down the bow on the G-string, relaxing my shoulders, and I'm going to just play the open string on the G. <laughs> came quite effortlessly. The only thing that I actually did was move my arm. And that's all. Now if you pull up your shoulders, if you push them forward, what you actually do is that you reduce the natural weight of your arm which helped in producing the sound on your string. And because you're reducing the weight, what you actually do is that in raising your shoulders you lift your bow away from your string and you're going to compensate by using your arm and your hand to push down harder to get the same results. So you're going to do something like which sounds slightly more uneven than when you do it with a relaxed shoulder so your play is going to be uh, not as good uh, when you lift your shoulders, when you slouch as well. But even more importantly, you are creating a problem in your arms, in your right arm in this case, and in your right hand, because you're going to have to exert more power and more pressure to get a, a similar result as when you do it with a relaxed shoulder. And this may in the beginning cause a few feelings of discomfort. I'm going to put this away again. A few feelings of discomfort. Um, and if you don't pay attention to them, discomfort will become pain and pain will eventually result in you having to stop your practice for a while. Uh, if you're right-handed like I am and your right hand hurts and you have a computer job, just like I do, then uh, using the mouse, typing on the keyboard will also be quite uh, painful and you want to avoid that. One trick that I do to remind myself that I shouldn't slouch, because I also have that very natural tendency, despite the problems that I've encountered with it, I still have that same tendency to do it. Uh, what, what I do to remind me to not slouch and to correct my posture during my play 
is that I use my music stand, which is right in front of me right now, and I've put it at a specific height so that when I'm reading the sheet music, or trying to decipher the sheet music in my case, uh, it's almost at eye level so that I don't sink down even more to want to see which note I should be playing next. Being at the right level, it reminds me that I have to sit up again and again. Now, not slouching doesn't mean that you have to sit there like a big square uh, statue either, because that's also a particular kind of stress that you then uh, put into your posture, which will also cause a lot of problems. The main thing is do not slouch and try to be relaxed. Okay, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some information in there that may help you improve your posture, avoid problems. I hope that you do not identify with this particular problem, that you've never had it and that you will never have it. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave behind a comment, subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos telling you things that I've done wrong and how, what that causes and how you can try to avoid them. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.